One peculiarity in the public ministry of Jesus was his consistence on his relationship with the poor, the outcast, and the marginalized. In fact, his apostles were coming from simple background, no political, social, or religious affiliation. Thus, humanly speaking, they are the least to succeed on their mission and in their goal. In our gospel food today, Jesus glorified the Father for giving him such simple person as his allies as he prayed. I glorify you, Father, for revealing to the simple people what you have hidden to the learned and the wise. Actually, reading along this line, one may say that Jesus is against intellectual power. By no means. God, Jesus is not against education, studies, intellectual power. Rather, Jesus is against intellectual pride because pride and stupidity shut the message of the gospel. Thus, one author said, the house of the gospel is not the head but the heart because during the time of Christ the scribes the wise men the great men rejected him while the simple people accepted accepted him there was a beautiful saying that goes pride is the only disease known to man that made everyone sick except the one who has it Naba mo ka office mate nga hambugiro kayo. Tanan apiktado siya lang ang wala and that is the only disease known to man that everyone become sick no masakiton gawas lang gud sa iya. Actually in our gospel for today Jesus presents to us the value that would help us to understand and to accept his message. One is humility no. One is humility. Very often, Jesus said to his would-be followers, If you want to follow me, forget yourself and carry your cross every day. No? That is so beautiful because one difficulty for a person to overcome is self. Why self? Because of the built-in pride. No? Because of the built-in pride. Second is trust. In the Gospel last Sunday, when the apostles were sent into the mission for the first time, they were instructed by Jesus not to bring extra t-shirt, money, or working staff. And this reminder was actually to remind them of the kindness of God because God's generosity can never be outdone. Di good mapildi ang pagkamanggihatagon sa Diyos, mga isalig na to tanan, no? Mga si, si Edi Villarde sa El Shaddai, no? He has that famous saying, whenever they gather in Luneta every Sunday, ang iyang ingnon, ang Diyos ay mapagbigay, siksik, liglig, at umaapaw. No? That is how generous God would be into our life. Third is child's innocence, no? Ang pagka-innocente good sa bata. On one occasion, when Jesus and His apostles were on a journey, Jesus overheard them discussing of who was the greatest among them all. And so Jesus took side a little child and he said to them, unless you become like this little child, you cannot enter the kingdom into heaven. Because for Jesus, child's innocence and simplicity provide the person to understand the message of salvation. Towards the end of the gospel, nindot ang giingon ni Christ. Ingon siya, only the Father knows the Son, and only the Son knows the Father, and to anyone the Son wishes to reveal Him. And so it is our prayer, mother, brothers, and sisters, we pray for the grace of humility and trust that we may know God into our life through His Son, Jesus Christ. Please all rise.